Hey guys, we're out today taking a look at BioLite Solar Home 620. Stick around. Alright, so you can see here we have the BioLite 620. This is a fantastic setup. I absolutely love this for my off grid cabin. I use it a lot. Uh, it's, it's great sometimes when we go out and we do a little bit of wild camping that's accessible with an ATV or something similar to that. We bring this system often as it's a great way to charge up your devices and stuff like that. I apologize we don't have the best sun today, but it's still collecting enough for the unit to work. So uh, to give a brief rundown here of what we get, we've got the solar panel here. This model is the IK-6P. Its maximum power is 6 watts, which is plenty for what you need. The optimum operating voltage is 12 volts with an operating current of 0.5 amps. So it's a 0.5 amp charger. It works great. Uh, the dimensions of the solar panel itself are 290 millimeters by 190 millimeters. And the thickness is 17 millimeters. It's a great little unit. We really love it. The solar panel is pretty durable, at least for as far as solar panels go. For the unit itself, for the charge, charge pack, it's got an onboard For the charge pack itself, I don't know if you guys can see any of this, if it's picking up or not. Uh, well, I guess we'll tell when we're editing if you can see any of it. But, for the charge pack itself, you have an onboard battery. So if we scroll through here, what this unit can do, see right now it's only got one bar of sunlight. And we're only getting one charge on our battery right now. So the way we're sitting, the battery's only at 1% as I just plugged it in for the demonstration purposes of this video, but it is charging. The sun strength is only at 6% as it is extremely overcast. It's got the radio on it, an AM FM radio, which is currently off. You can also upload mp3s to this and play your mp3s through it if you want. It's a great little unit. We really enjoy this one. We find it very, very useful for when we go out. Uh, the cost of this is a little bit expensive, but for what you get out of it, it is an excellent unit. You got the three lights that also come with the unit. So with each unit you get three of these lights and the lights are fairly bright. You've got a switch with them and they all daisy chain together. There's a good length of cord that comes with each one of these so you can space your lights out nice if you want or put them in separate rooms. A very versatile piece of equipment but I will be honest in our experience this does not work in the cold. So if you're in a place that it, it's often freezing or below, don't expect this unit to work for you. It is not the best when it comes to them conditions. Even with the bad conditions, we want to show you here that this will charge a device. So right now, the sun peaked out a little bit more from behind the clouds. So we are currently getting two bars on our sun strength. I'm going to just plug this in. You can see it's the same as any other USB charger. So I'll plug that in. I'm going to grab the phone, put it nice and close so hopefully you'll hear it beep when it starts charging. So hopefully you heard that. 
Now, if you take a look, I don't know if it's coming through or not, in the top corner here, it should show you that that is charging. Now with the sun coming out a lot stronger, you can see we're at full bars now. Which if we scroll through, our sun strength is now at 89%, which is pretty good. So if it were to stay like this for even an hour, you would charge your battery pack up a lot. But the phone is charging. We're currently at 96%, so we're going to leave it, and then we'll come back to you in a bit and show you that it is, in fact, charging. So while we're waiting for the phone to charge, we're going to go over a few specs of this unit. Like I said earlier, it's a 6-watt solar panel. It connects to a 20-watt-hour control box. You get your three lights with it, and one of them has a motion sensor. You got the switches that can be wall mounted or just left to hang if you choose. It plays the MP3s like we talked about and has the AM FM radio as well. The length of the, the cables is 18 feet which is considerably long. So they get the, the solar home name 620 because that's what it the power that it generates for you. It gives you 6 watts for 20 watt hours which is exceptionally well. Like for a little system like this, it should be noted too right away, people are going to want to know this, that we paid $189 Canadian for this unit off of Amazon. The link will be down in the description of this video if you choose to go through our Amazon influencer page to purchase this. But it'll be linked down there in the description if you're interested that for $189 to put out that kind of power output is absolutely fantastic. Those of you that are are into the whole van life thing and stuff like that, like my buddies over there at Dare to Live, if you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, go check it out. Awesome channel. He just pimped out a, an entire van with a whole lot of stuff on there that, that this system like this, I should have made this video earlier for him, but... Uh, would be ideal for what he did over there. Go check him out. Dare to live. He's on YouTube. Excellent content. So your lights give you 400 lumens across the four lights. You can daisy chain them like I mentioned earlier. They're each controlled by their separate switch though, right? So that's super cool. It's awesome. It should also be noted too that with that control module, you also have a fourth additional light on that. So you have a light wherever you choose to set that up as well. So you have two output ports on the unit itself. So two USB output ports, which means you can charge two things at once. That's awesome too. Uh, you can upload all your MP3s to an SD card to insert them into that, which is awesome too, because you can get a massive, you know, 64 gigabyte card or something like that, and you could have music on there for years and uh, scroll through whatever it is that you choose to play. So this really is a fantastic unit. We really enjoy it. Uh, right now we're going to take the time to show you the difference here in charging. I don't know if you guys can see this. We are now at 98% on the phone, which means we went up to, and it's been honestly maybe four minutes, five minutes at the most. So it's charging very well. The sun strength has come out, that helps us a bit, but uh, excellent unit. So in recap of the BioLite 620 solar home system, pros, charges fast, it's small enough, you have a lot of options with it. You can play music, you, you've got your two ports for charging capability. The charge time is great. The solar panel is six, watt, six watts for 20 watt hours, which is incredible. The price is cheap enough. It's, don't get me wrong, it's pricey, 
but nowhere near what other solar setups are going to cost you. Not even close. The negatives of this unit, if you live somewhere that it is freezing or below freezing frequently, don't expect this setup to work for you. It will not. Uh, I have tried it personally, and it just won't work. It, it freezes the battery. You can't get it to charge. Uh, you know, maybe if you had a setup where you could keep your control box inside all the time and your solar panel could just be outside, it'd be a different story. However, with my off-grid cabin, because it's in the deep forest, that is not an option. I have to take this out, charge it during the day, bring it back in there, and run off just the, the watt hours for the night. But uh, if you have a setup like that, it's not going to work for you in cool temperatures. Now, this does work fine if you have it inside and it's heated. I've, I've set the solar panel outside at home and kept the control box inside. It will keep your batteries topped up and everything will run like it's supposed to, no problems at all. And that is the way they advertise to use it, is to have this module inside and everything else outside. So just something to bear in mind depending on what your setup is. That is the only negative I have for this unit. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.